keep his offense out for a sustained drive to keep his defense off. Slash out ball. And there is the biggest hit maybe of the 1989-90 bowl season. Danley down as he was struck by Zach Dumas. by Dumas on Stacy Danley. You can see him right here. Danley, they just say, just had the wind knocked out of him. As you said, it was amazing to see him up and running okay, but he is okay and very, very coherent of where he is and knows that he took a wicked hit from Dumas. That's it here from the Auburn bench. Yeah, he's some guy if he knows he took that hit. Junior quarterback Greg Fry's been on target for Ohio State. Auburn trying to get his offense going, and they do on this running play. A first down carry by James Joseph. Pitch back. Here's the electron. Darrell Williams breaks it across the 25-yard line and gets it out close to the 30. Fry in trouble and they get him back at the 34-yard line. On the rush was Fernando Horn, a big guy who can... He started to cheat that way. Almost a triple. Here is a... Straight ahead give, and there's not much there on a second and long play, second and 22. So now Bowman is out, low snap. He hits a spiral downfield. Shane Wasden has the ball for Auburn. Makes a good move, and Wasden is running in the open field. He's across the 50, cuts back, and is knocked out of the 47-yard line. Carlos Snow looking to go right as the Ohio State coaches said and now have it proven to them again, you don't run sweeps on Auburn. He's with 76% wins in his nine years at Auburn. Downfield punt. Hit hard into the wind and Wasden fields it over the shoulder. Running it back upfield. This time Ohio State has it hemmed in and loses him again and there's Shane Wasden on the run. And finally they get him inside the 35-yard line down slack looking downfield Ohio State deep zone here's a throw and a catch they get the ball to right down to the 12-yard line they say Reggie slack is at his best in pressure situations like this because he is unflappable Rock starts slack fires open man touchdown Auburn as he gets the ball to Greg Taylor the ball. The zone defense comes up and gets him, but it looks like Stacy Danley's firing up ahead for an Auburn first down. He really got blasted and bounced up, and Danley gets the call again as Auburn with some very quick offensive line blocking is taking it straight ahead at Ohio State, and Danley is weaving his way. Receivers left. Roll out. Slack can run, looks to throw, there's the pitch, he's down to the goal line, and it's a touchdown for Auburn. Greg Taylor with the reception for the score. Ohio State looking to come from behind for the first time today, trailing 17-14. 
Dante Lee runs the ball, but not very far as Mike Campbell, a down lineman, comes in along with Quinton Riggins to make the stop for the Tigers of Auburn. After leading at halftime, Buckeyes down by three. Second down and six. To the run, Donnie Lee, a freshman from Dayton, Ohio, who's averaging over six yards a carry in his first year at Ohio State. Down, ready to throw now. It's third down and a long six. Again, the deep drop. Here comes the rush, and the Tigers sweep him under. Back at the 34-yard line. Sutton, Jim Kimes Jr., and now as they look to throw, the downfield pitch is again a strike. Reggie Slack. Third long, comes down, they go to the draw, and they give it to Danley, and he breaks it, and Danley has a first down. Slack, last play of the quarter, throws the out ball, and it is fun by Herbert Casey. Now third and 11, they get slack, he gets away, here comes the blitz again, and he gets it downfield for a connection short of a first down. And that's your man, Namad Wazden, who came back at the ball like Bolitnikov to make the play, but he's short of the first down, and slack. Buckeyes dig in on D now, they've given up 57% completions over the season. Here's the out ball, it is taken by Wright, and he sprints ahead for an Auburn first down on a fourth down play. He's to the Ohio State 24-yard line. Dig in on D. Slack rolling out, can take it himself for the first down. He's to the 10-yard line. Slack calls his own number. He's going in. Reggie Slack is thrown for two now, runs for one. One thing that we haven't seen many holding calls. No, we haven't. Fake play, but it's not going to work. Auburn defends it. John Cooper talked about the fake uh, the punt. They punter signal a snap over his head, which wasn't hard to sell Auburn. Now we got a live action as Reggie Slack stands in. He wants more. He's almost picked up, and it's a completion down to Greg Taylor, and he has a first down for Auburn at the 20-yard line of Ohio. Completed his last 10 passes, two of them touchdowns. It's back to Danley, open field, and Danley hits inside the five and all the way down to the three-yard line. Big rangy runner with that big stride, eating up yards with every one of them. Also, on first and goal, Black throws, and it's a touchdown for Auburn as he hits the weapon, Herbert Casey. All right. Matching Florida State and Nebraska. Downfield pitch again, and it might almost just picked off by the free safety John Wiley, number nine of Auburn. The Fiesta Bowl is to Dick Enberg. First down, Buckeyes. The try is swept under by an overwhelming pass rush, led by the All-American Craig Ogletree. Fry drops, loops it over the middle, and it's picked off by Quentin Riggins. And he's to the 10-yard line. 